you know, if you were here in the room with us, you would see that what we've sort of created is an artificial circumstance. Terrence Stamp and I have just met, of course, he's one of the stars, the villain in Superman 2. We're supposed to then turn around and do this very glib and very chatty interview after someone standing behind that camera has said, all right, now. But of course, as a film actor, uh, as you experienced in Superman 2, that's precisely what happens. Somebody finally says, action, and you turn on. Is it as difficult as it sounds? Uh, I get, yeah, I guess it is, really. It's, um, but you get an approach to it after a while. I mean, you get, you get accustomed to gathering things together very quickly and flashing, you know. It's like, it's like a, a Zen painting, really quick, as opposed to, you know, a, a kind of really studied painting, mm -hmm. like it's the kind of thing you create when you're on the theatre. You did several things before deciding to be an actor. It wasn't until, what, about 1959? that you became an actor? That's right, yeah. You were friendly with another hungry actor at that time named Michael Caine. That's right. Peter Ustinov ended up seeing you on stage and said that man is perfect for the leading role in Billy Budd. You played it, you received an Academy Award nomination for it, and your career then kind of went so along the way, you have encountered some very famous people. One that you talk about is Federico Fellini. And I've read, is it correct that you say I define my career in terms of before Fellini and after Fellini? Sure. Tell me why that is. You knew this master. We didn't. Um, prior to working with Fellini, I always had a great fear um, my my acting, my film performances were always accompanied by fear. Fear, really, of of the, let's say, the emotional energy that I needed not being available. So it was a kind of an, an abstract fear, but it was always there. And when I was approaching a movie or when I was making a movie, I would always wake up with this kind of uh, fear. This fear would be there. And during the filming of Fellini, I began to notice that everybody seemed to be having a good time, you know, or the technicians seemed to be having a good time. He'd come to lunch with us and order up spaghetti and wine. Lunches had gone for hours, you know. And then eventually it came to me that here I was working for this man that I really admired tremendously and that I was his choice and that what I was was what he wanted, you know. And if I couldn't deliver, he would make me deliver. So I kind of just relaxed and, and I was able to let go of the fear. And then the movie experience became for me like it was for all the other technicians. It became a holiday. And after that, it was different. I mean, after that, I, be, I, be, I enjoyed the movie experience more. Did you enjoy the movie experience of Superman 2 and being the, the villain that you are for the audience? I did enjoy it, but it was, uh, I mean, it was a terribly uncomfortable film. The, all the flying is, you know, it's very uncomfortable to do it. And then it was kind of very sprawly, you know. It was, it was such a big movie that you didn't really get the, the movie experience, you know. You didn't get that, that feeling of being on an adventure because it was so kind of diverse and you'd have weeks off and then you'd come back and then we had a year and a half off, and then we came back. So it wasn't really a kind of a, it wasn't a compact experience. It was kind of diffused. After all of that diffusion, when you finally stepped into the theater to see the finished product, what kind of experience was that? I was very happy with it. I mean, it seemed, it seemed very good to me. 
<laughs> you say that very kind of modestly, and yet the truth of the matter is that there are a lot of actors who will invest a year, a year and a half of their life, and they walk into the theater and they say, oh, no. Uh, so it has to feel very good to know that indeed you succeeded at what you were trying to do since so much of your life is invested in it. True. That's it. You don't want to tell me any more about that, do you? No, that's just how I feel about it. Do you like Americans? Yeah. I think Americans, they're more friendly. You know, English are very, English are very reserved in a way. Are we silly? Oh, sure. That's all right? Sure, well, that's all right. Oliver Reed said to me, you know, I think Americans are like teenagers. And it's all right to like teenagers. Well, he's a very old guy, isn't he? <laughs> he's a very old soul. Terrence Stamp isn't any of that, but he is the arch villain and one of the major stars in Superman, too. He's wonderful, and uh, so is the film. It's nice to have met you. Thank you. Thank you.